what is up everybody welcome back to the vlog channel i'm kelly this is my channel <laughs> i never know what to say in the beginning of these vlogs but i have an exciting vlog for you well i don't know if it's exciting for you but it's exciting for me we have a lot of stuff going on this weekend so i figured i would start a vlog so a couple of exciting things going on thing number one i am going to la this weekend actually in a couple of days which is wild and so out of character for me because i usually need a lot of time to mentally and emotionally prepare but we just decided we've got an impromptu trip which I'm gonna explain why but before we go on our trip I wanted to get my hair touched up so I booked an appointment for tomorrow to get my hair re-dyed I've been doing like little root touch-ups with just like an at-home kit but I'm only touching up my roots like for my part so the rest of my hair is really really rooty <laughs> But I was also hoping, I don't know if this is possible, but while I'm there, I figured I may as well ask. And I did send some pictures to the woman who's gonna be doing my hair. And I asked if there's any way we can make my blonde chunk a little bit bigger because the salon that I went to in New Jersey, they were very, very conservative with the amount of hair that I got in my little streak because they thought that I wanted it to look natural, which was so not my look at all. Like I like my hair to look dyed. So I was asking if there's any way we can either or make this bigger or do like a two-toned blonde where like there's another darker blonde chunk going on. So that is happening tomorrow. And then literally the next day, we are hopping on a flight and we're going to LA. So <laughs> before I start to get myself into a nervous wreck, LA is only an hour flight from Las Vegas. So it's really not a huge trip. I'm trying to tell myself that it's just like hopping on the train and going to New York City, which takes a little bit longer than an hour from where I lived in New Jersey. Although this time it is a flight. <laughs> so we're gonna be there for two days. And the reason that we're going is because I have a very exciting collaboration coming with Orly. I don't know if this vlog is gonna go up before my collab comes out. So I probably shouldn't give you that much information, but basically we are just going to finalize everything, check out the lab. I finally live close enough to them that I can see them in person and I'm really excited about it. This is a collab that we have been working on for a really long time now. It is some polishes that I am incredibly, incredibly excited about. The theme is perfect. The color story, I love it. The form Formulas, the finishes. I'm just so happy. I think I'm really in my element when I get to have a say in creating polishes and that's essentially what a collaboration is. So I just couldn't be more excited and it also is coming out for my favorite time of year which is Halloween. So they have a little bit of a Halloween-y vibe. I feel like I'm already sharing too much but again I don't know if this is coming out before or after the collab. But yeah so that is what we're doing this weekend. I haven't even started packing because I'm not 100% sure what to pack. I've never gone on such a short trip and I've also never been on an hour flight. So I'm like nervous for that, but I'm also just very, very excited. Mostly just excited because I have always wanted to go to the Orly Color Labs, which I have done virtual appointments with them, which is super fun, but I just want to like see everything in person. So I just think that'll be a fun time. And I'm also wondering how I can pack my new thigh high combat boots because I really want to wear those. But I'm thinking, I don't know if they're going to fit in my carry on. And do I really want to wear sweats and then those thigh high combat boots on the plane? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> so I figured I would start off the vlog because I like the way my eye makeup looks right now. I am going to check in with you tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a little bit of work in the morning and then I am going to get my hair done. So we'll see how that goes. And then we need to start packing because we need to come up with some stuff to wear. It's gonna be a fun time. Grab a snack, get yourself comfy, get a nice blanket. If you're in a place that's a little chilly, I don't know. <laughs> Grab a blanket anyway, it's comfy. Let's get started with the fun weekend. Okay, I am back home now. I got my hair done. It was really fast. I basically just got the roots touched up, but I also evened out this side, which was a little bit greenish, but now you can't see any green in it, which is nice. She also did make my blonde a little bit bigger, but there is a problem. I don't know if you can see it on camera. A little bit that got attacked by some uh, brown hair dye, but honestly, 
I am just going to cut that off. <laughs> so yeah, that's the hair. And now I basically have to pack. I also want to tidy up the apartment a little bit, even though we're only going to be gone for like two days. I just like coming home to a clean apartment. So I'll do a little bit of that do a little bit of packing, and then ideally I could film a voiceover for a video that's gonna go up while I'm gone. So I'm gonna try to do that as well. It's not too late right now, it's only like 6 p.m. So we've got a lot of time, and then tomorrow we're not leaving that early, so I will have time in the morning as well. But I wanna pack up as much as I can tonight. I don't know if you can hear me because this room is not the best for sound. We are going to a place called the Magic Castle while we're there. It's like formal wear. And I have two floor length dresses. I'm gonna bring these boots, the ones that I got on Amazon for super cheap. And everyone is telling me that I need to wear them on the plane. And you know what? I'm gonna be sweating on the plane if I do that because these are thick boots, even though they are very comfortable, but I just don't, I don't have the energy for that. So I'm gonna try to pack them and I'm just gonna fold them. Try not to care about how they look once they're all folded up. <laughs> I also got this new shirt from Rags and Rituals. I actually ordered a few things, but it didn't come in time, just this. But I love this. It's so cool. So maybe I should bring this. Good morning, friends. It's the next day. It's like 7.30. We are gonna leave in like an hour for the airport. Our flight is at 11, but I am a nervous Nelly and I like to be there early. Actually, this is gonna be the shortest flight I've ever been on and usually I'm like big on buying airplane snacks. I know they're overpriced, but it's like one of the routines that makes me feel better. So I wonder what I'm gonna do. But anyway, anxiety, feeling it. <laughs> I'm just kind of laughing it off right now, but I am a little bit shaky. A little bit nervous, but that's just how I get for everything. So I'm gonna put on my makeup now and then I have to pack my makeup. <laughs> everything else is packed and it's kind of funny because for a two day trip, I have packed 15 pairs of underwear just in case. 10 days worth of contact lenses. Because I'm thinking, imagine an apocalypse situation, right? I would only be able to see for two days. That's how my brain works. But now I will be able to see for 10 days. And honestly, the temptation is there to have enough contacts for like a month, just in case. But I won't do it. But anyway, I'm going to put on some makeup, get pretty cute, and then I'll catch up with you. Oh my gosh. So last night I did one of those like schedule a lift things and I scheduled for somebody to come at 8.45 and it said they would come between 8.45 and 9. It is now 8.30 and the guy is outside. So we gotta get a move on. Appreciate the earliness, but I needed this extra 15 minutes. So we're gonna rush. Why am I taking time to vlog this? We're in LA. We literally just walked in to the hotel room. We didn't think that they would let us check in early, but they did. So I haven't even looked around yet. I'm gonna show you at the same time as I'm seeing it for the first time. So I love doing little hotel room tours, but let me show you. We're staying in a hotel called the Kimpton Everly. So here's the door, very lovely door. You walk in, there's a bathroom. I'm liking the way this looks. I don't know how to turn on the lights though. Here they are, okay. So toilet. We've got, oh, this is such a pretty sink. And then here's me, hi. We've got the shower, so gorgeous. Very nice door. Then you walk out, little wardrobe over here, nice little desk, potentially a mini fridge. 
Is that what this is? Yes, there's a mini fridge in here. We've got a TV, nice big bed for us. And then got a little couch. And here, oh my goodness. <gasps> this is the view. <laughs> Wait a second. Do you guys see that? I have never seen the Hollywood sign before. This is cool. So we're basically, we literally were just on this highway and I was just videoing this highway, not realizing that we were staying right here. That's so cool, oh my gosh, what a view. Anyway, we are going to get ourselves situated, freshen up for a second. It's currently 1 p.m. That was also, by the way, fastest flight I've ever been on my life. It was 45 minutes. So it was really, it was really easy to get here. It was really not anxiety inducing at all, which was very nice. I'll check up with you in a little bit. By the way, I was wondering why it was so dark in this bathroom, but there are two other lights that I just didn't even notice there's another light switch. So in case anybody's curious. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the floor. Something to save us. So we just got food at the little restaurant downstairs and it was really good, but now, well, Ryan is ironing his suit because we only had carry-on bags, so we had to like pack. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys, we're going to like a fancy place tonight. So I have a couple of dresses that I'm trying to decide between, but I'm worrying about that later. I popped on some lashes and I fixed up my makeup and now we are going to, well, as soon as Ryan's done, we're gonna head to the Color Labs, which I've never been to before, but I don't know if you guys know this. Well, you probably do. <laughs> But the reason that I ever even collabed with Orly is because originally I did a virtual Color Labs experience and so many people were requesting the Kelly's Galaxy polish that I need that we just decided to do a collab. So it kind of feels like going back to like my roots and I've never actually been there in person. So I'm really excited to see it and I don't know, play around, have some fun. <laughs> so yeah, I'll bring you guys along, obviously. This is the fit check. There's not much going on here to be honest. I'm just wearing literally the exact same thing as I wore in the airport. Uh, but that's just because I want to save my cute outfits for tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, we're going with this for now. Popping bottle champagnes all night. Running up your mouth like it's all fine. She looking like a Ah, she looking like a In a skirt tie. The bond is a cool to watch over you will not leave me. Oh, she's not a good one. She's too unbothered. Could ever tell you come in the water. She had a unique. Oh my 
This weight on my shoulders is slowing me down. I don't know how it came about. Hello friends. Okay, I've not updated you at all on how the night has been because it got a little hectic. So we went to the Grove, which was like an outdoor mall, and I did not realize this about LA, but the Ubers and Lyfts take so long. So we were running very late and we had to get back because we had a reservation at this place called the Magic Castle tonight and you have to like dress very fancy for it. And so we were running so behind. I didn't vlog it at all because we ended up being pretty late. <laughs> But yeah, so we went to this place, the Magic Castle, which is like a place where they have dinner, but they also have a ton of magic shows. So we have spent the last several hours just watching magic shows and it was incredible. But the only thing was I wasn't allowed to film or take pictures of anything, but it was just this incredible, like magical castle. I thought it was just a regular building, but then we kept on going into these like little areas and it just kept on getting bigger and bigger. So it ended up being absolutely magical massive on the inside. But yeah, it was such a fun time, but I wish I could show, actually, I'll show you the dress that I'm wearing because it's really pretty. This mirror is not staying, but I am wearing a floor length dress and I'm wearing this shrug that I absolutely love. And I don't know, it's, it's a cute outfit, but you can't appreciate it. <laughs> Anyway, I did make a nail polish at the Orly Color Labs and that was super fun as well. But yeah, so we're gonna go to sleep. We're gonna, well, I'm gonna shower, wash myself clean because it's been a very long day. And then we are going to go to sleep and then I will bring you along for the adventures tomorrow. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, friends. It's the next morning. It's actually kind of late. We slept in until like eight. Last night was absolutely incredible. I don't remember how much I said last night. I actually did not drink at all, but I was definitely drunk off of the magic. There were so many incredible magic shows. I have to show you guys this one trick that this guy did. He asked the audience for a quarter and I had one. He asked me to write my initials on it and then he somehow bent the quarter while it was in my hand. Let me show you that because I kept it. <laughs> Here was the quarter. So I, I have no idea how he bent it. I figured it had to be like a magnet or something. I don't know. Like I'm tempted to say, if you guys know how the trick worked, can you tell me? But I'm also tempted to be like, don't tell me. I want it to be magic. <laughs> but anyway, we are going to head downstairs and get some food now. So I'll catch up with you after. Alrighty, we are back 
from the Orly office slash factory slash lab situation. That was incredibly fun. I didn't get to show you guys a lot of stuff, but that was an incredible experience just getting to see everything and how it was made. And when we toured the factory, they were boxing up some of my collab stuff. So that was really awesome. Now it is... 4 30 and i am weirdly incredibly exhausted <laughs> i think we're going to i'm probably just going to take off my makeup and change into like t-shirts and shorts and then maybe we'll wander around maybe i'll take a nap first but i also kind of want to snack so i'll catch up with you whenever we do anything yeah. Good morning, it's the next day. We are going home today. It's actually a super dreary overcast day. Actually, let me show you. So here is what the outside world is looking like today. By the way, Ryan is in the shower, so don't mind the sound. But there's the Hollywood sign. So it's currently about 10.30. We have our checkout from the hotel at 11, but our flight's not until 4.30. We weren't sure what exactly we wanted to do. I was toying with the idea of us just driving to the beach, but it's also just a little bit cold out there, so probably not gonna happen. So we might just walk around and just see what's going on for a couple of hours and then probably head over to the airport early and just sit and read because... I like doing that. We're just going to pack up the room, pack up our luggage, and then see if maybe downstairs they can hold on to our stuff while we kind of wander around. So that's the plan for now. I'm very sleepy though. I don't know why. I slept for a really long time, but I'm super tired. I'll, I'll let you know what we're doing though. I haven't figured it out just yet. <laughs> We are home. We have made it. And I don't think I mentioned this, but our flight was delayed. So we actually spent four hours in the airport. We had some pizza and it was actually really delicious. They had a vegan pizza. But yeah, the flight itself ended up only being like 45 minutes. So it was super quick to get home. But the time in the airport was a very long time. So we are home now. Very happy to be home and back in my space just because I am a homebody and I love being home. But it was actually crazy. There, the flight, it was, thank goodness it was so short because it was so loud. The people behind us were having like a very loud conversation. And then in front of us, there's a kid playing a video game 
at full volume the entire time. Thank goodness for noise canceling headphones. But yeah, I do want to show you before I end the vlog, we went to this Ghirardelli store in Hollywood and they had this thing where you could like buy this little plush bag and you could fill it up with as much chocolate as you could fit and it was $25 I think so we tried to fill it up as much as possible I want to see how much chocolate we got so this is the bag so it was if you didn't get the bag it was a pound for $22 and this was $25 so we were like if we could get over a pound it'll be worth it so we ended up having like about a pound and three quarters so let me show you I'm very excited to jump this out it feels like Halloween <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This was absolutely worth way more than $25. Look at how much we got. And Ghirardelli is an expensive brand. And we got so much. You can tell which ones we like the most. But we got a ton of the sea salt caramel ones. We got a ton of the raspberry intense dark, the regular dark. We got a bunch of minis just to fit in all the little crevices. They had this new flavor, milk chocolate caramel apple. And uh, yeah, just good times. <laughs> anyway, I am gonna end the vlog here. I definitely want to shower off the plane. And I also wanna unpack before I go to bed. I forgot to tell you what time it is. It's like 7.45 right now. It's actually 7.47, but whatever. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me for this little adventure a little behind the scenes orly adventure i had so much fun that was honestly the most fun experience and just getting to see the polish being made was so surreal so yeah i had a good time i hope you enjoyed it too by the time this video comes out my nail polish will be out so hopefully you like it and i'm really excited to share it with you so I will see you all in the next video. Got the drop a gun, a fresh cut sushi on a platter, ready, honey, it don't matter. Shots, till I drop, drop, gonna be 24 7, golden hour like a boss. And they say, yo, guess you gotta do a clock appointment for a champagne shop. Whoa.